My name is Christopher. I have HSV2 down here. And just a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. If you want less information, talk to a doctor. Okay, I want to talk today about the three most common misconceptions when it comes to herpes in general. And the first one is that cold sores aren't herpes. A lot of people think that cold sores aren't herpes, but this is false. All cold sores are herpes, but not all herpes is sexually transmitted. Now, it took some thinking to figure out why people think this way, and I think that most people associate the word herpes with genital herpes, or HSV2 only, or just the idea that herpes is nothing more than genital herpes. And when you realize that like, if society has a definition, and there's also a medical definition, and they're never going to align, you're never going to convince someone that cold sores aren't herpes when in their head they only refer to herpes as that. We're both right and we're never going to agree and you have to understand that. So just for information's sake, from a medical perspective, all cold sores are an oral herpes outbreak and your oral herpes outbreak could either be passed to someone by kissing via oral oral or could be transferred to someone's genitals through oral sex. More often with a cold sore present, but there is still a small chance for transmission to either location without symptoms present. So disclose that you get cold sores because that is herpes. Second point, is gonna be that that you have constant symptoms. Now, I think there's a huge disconnect between the way people view oral herpes and cold sores and genital herpes. They think that if you have a cold sore, it comes and goes. But if you have genital herpes, you have constant rupturing, popping bumps on your genitals. And that's not the case. It's the same basic concept. Some people never have outbreaks up here or down there. And everybody that has genital herpes does not have constant symptoms. Some of them have one outbreak and never again, or some of them have, you know, recurrent outbreaks similar to having a cold sore. But the idea that like genital herpes is any different in its presentability or the way it works compared to cold sores is a lie. And I just wanna clear that up here. And the third misconception is that anyone who touches you just gets herpes. Like, if we're being honest, the vast majority of people have probably been with someone with herpes in either location and not necessarily contracted it. So I've been with people post-diagnosis, and as far as I'm concerned, they have not contracted genital herpes for me. And to give another piece of advice is like, I dated someone for six years with oral herpes and did not actually contract that from them. So there's no guarantee that in a short-term or long-term relationship that the person who's uninfected will ever become infected. And I can even go as far as to say is like the people who know their status and know their diagnosis and take precautions and are aware of when and when they're not having an outbreak, they're probably safer than someone who either doesn't know their status, doesn't think they have herpes, or doesn't think to check to see if an outbreak is in either location because that's when transmission is higher. So those are the three misconceptions. Cold sores are always herpes. They're just not herpes to some people because their definition is different. Uh, you don't always have symptoms similar to having a cold sore. They're not constant and they're not necessarily permanent. Same thing down here. And that people who know their status are not going to be as like unsafe as people who may not know their status. It's not just touch someone with herpes and you get it. All right, hope that clears things up. Love you, miss you, hope you're doing well. Extra help in the description box. See you guys next time.